Hello, I am Brett from Bearded Man Studios, and today I'll be talking about the manual NetSync and NetSync to Server. Now, both of these are same attributes as NetSync itself, but they work different ways. And what I mean by that is manual NetSync is a way for you to determine when those variables sync across the network, whereas NetSync by itself and whenever a value has changed in that variable then it will sync across the network whereas manual net sync it only syncs when you have set or told it to sync across the network and then net sync to server that is another uh, derivative of net sync itself where its data is only getting synchronized to the server and nowhere else so to begin, I will start on manual net sync. So I'm going to open up my example and now I'm going to type, uh, let's do public, let's do an int again, mana equals 100. I'm going to do manual net sync above it and then I'm going to do protected override uh, owner update. And then in here, if input get key down, key code, and then do right arrow, else, and do an else if of left arrow. All right, here I'm gonna increment and decrement the mana and then uh, I only want this to sync when I hit spacebar so let me just copy this else if paste it and say space and then I'm going to do the functionality of just uh, well as we call it is serializing the data so to serialize our uh, manual net sync data that we want to synchronize across the network, we're going to have to do serialize, whoops, serialize manual properties. And we can determine if this is a reliable send or not, as well as telling it what kind of receivers we want it to receive on the other side. So I I guess at this point I do want it to be reliable. I don't want to have to send this again. And I want everyone to receive it. In uh, which case I can just leave this alone because it's already doing the receive result. But in case I wanted to do all buffered, like people who join in, or others, or myself, or the server, or the server and me, then I can do these receivers down here as well. So for now, I'm just going to uh, leave it as all. And that will sync when I hit space. So I'm going to now, whoops, hit the wrong key. All right, I'm going to now uh, let it compile and then hit play. All right, hit host server. And I have my example networked mono behavior with mana. I'm going to hit left, oops, left, or sorry, right, and then left. And as you can see, it's going up and down correctly. And this is the server, not the client. So I'm going to hit the build and run. Let it build up the standalone. I'm going to make the editor be the server and the client be the standalone build that I just made. So I'm going to hit host server. I'm going to increment its mana to 110 and then join in as the client and decrement its mana about 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, if I go over here, you can see that it is still 100 because I have not called the sync for the manual properties. So I'm going to go back to my client, and I'll keep it over here as well. And then I'm just going to hit spacebar, which is the one that calls the function for syncing those variables. So if I hit spacebar, 
you'll see that it instantly updated to 90 and that is the correct value because I only I started at 100 and I hit left arrow uh, 10 times which decrements it 10 times and then when I hit my spacebar I sync those variables across the network and that is where you see it now where it has gone to the correctly updated um, value that I passed through which is 90 and by pass through I mean it is labeled as a manual net sync variable. So that is how you can use manual net sync to your advantage if you want to uh, delay the serialization of your variables across the network and not sending too much data at all times and maybe sending it once whenever their internet connectivity is up or some other factor that takes in place that you want to be in more control of those uh, net sync variables being synchronized across the network and how they're being synchronized so that is what you would use manual net sync for so now I'm gonna close the client close the editor or stop posting on the editor then I'm gonna go back in here and now I'm gonna change it to server net sync sorry net sync to server so what this means is this variable is only gonna get synchronized to the server and no other client is going to be allowed to see this update themselves internally unless the server itself uh, synchronizes that value back to the other clients so in a way this can be a w for you to have a private uh, message or stream of data go directly to the server without the other clients interfering with that information being sent so that is how you use the net sync to server so if I were to build and run this now I'm going to see these values correctly update on the server and on the client I'm only going to see my own value update and the other clients that do join thereafter would not have their values updated for me correctly because I am not seeing that synchronized because it is only set to net sync to server and only the server is syncing this data correctly and that is how you'd use net sync to server it is like net sync but the data is going pipelined directly to the server and it is just a simple way for you to use net sync in a way to only send it to the server rather than just doing net sync then going in here and setting network network callers and just saying uh, others and maybe doing your own interpolation on the other end when a function is called back and checking if it is the server you don't have to worry about doing that all you have to do is the net sync to server and that will handle all that information for you and making sure that it gets directly to the server as its own pipeline so if you have any questions about this feel free to leave them in the comments below or send us an email thank you for watching